The Prince of Wales has just started a major tour of Caribbean Commonwealth countries which will also see him make an historic visit to communist Cuba, the first by a British royal. Speaking in St. Lucia on the first stop of his 12-day tour, the prince, whose tour is on behalf of the Queen, said the 53-country organization brings us together to address common challenges. Commonwealth leaders elected Prince Charles the group's next head last year after the Queen recommended her son one day succeeds the position. Prince Charles in Camilla Caribbean itinerary, the full scheduled Prince Charles's messy mop caught on day one of Caribbean tour in his speech, Prince Charles spoke of how the Commonwealth will be an important means for British global trade and influence post-Brexit. The Prince also made an impassioned plea to the entire Commonwealth to use its power to tackle global challenges such as climate change. He said, the Commonwealth has been a cornerstone of my life for as long as I can remember, and, through all the unprecedented global challenge of these past seven decades, it seems to me that the Commonwealth remains as vital today as it has ever been. Prince Charles spoke at the open-air event before St. Lucia's Prime Minister Alan Chastanet, Governor-General Sir Emmanuel Neville Senac, British High Commissioner Steve McCready and other guests including students. Speaking about the global threat posed by climate change the 70-year-old prince went on to say, importantly, the Commonwealth brings us together and gives us the means to harness shared opportunities as well as to address common challenges. There is no greater challenge facing all of us, in my view, than that of global warming and climate change which, I know, poses nothing short of an existential threat to this island as it does to every part of this region. The prince hailed entire Caribbean's reaction to the disasters of Hurricane Maria and Irma which hit the region in quick succession in 2017. He visited the area shortly afterwards to see the damage and meet responders. Royal Tour Prince Charles and Camilla make royal history on tour The Queen tickled and touched by this huge request on royal tour Prince Charles singled out St. Lucia's abundant talent and creativity which got enthusiastic applause from the crowds and stands at the sports field hosting the event. Prime Minister Allen highlighted the benefits Brexit will bring to his citizens after Britain leaves the EU. He said, the advent of Brexit also presents new possibilities for us a small island, and now with your Royal Highness's appointment to the helm of the Commonwealth, we look forward to a new, invigorated and strengthened Commonwealth. Prince Charles was welcomed to St. Lucia by a military rally and parade as the island prepares to celebrate its 40th anniversary of independence. During the welcome ceremony Charles inspected four detachments police, ports police, fire service and cadets lined up in front of him before he watched them parade past the stands. He also presented an honor that recognizes outstanding volunteers the Commonwealth Point of Light Award to Dorothy Phillip, President of Faces of Cancer St. Lucia. The prince's trip to the island was brief and just a few short hours he returned to Barbados, where he joined the Duchess of Cornwall at the base of their Caribbean tour. The royal couple are expected to take part in more than 50 engagements on seven different island nations during the tour, culminating in the three-day visit to Cuba on March 24 which the government views as an important step in building diplomatic ties between the UK and Havana. The Cuba trip is being considered as having the same high status as a state visit given the Queen no longer makes long-haul journeys. Besides Cuba, Barbados, and St. Lucia, Prince Charles and Camilla will also visit St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Kitts and Nevis Grenada and the Cayman Islands, 